a uh, question for you. You made the food yesterday, right? Delicious. Thank you. My question is, I have a bunch of, we have a bunch of family back home waiting. Is there anything special they got to do to get onto the live feed? It should just go to uh, Aninos McCreary Wedding Group. Aninos? Uh, Aninos. Uh, Aninos. That's Sarah. Aninos. Okay. okay. Um, it's on their, it's live right now on their page. Okay. Thank you. I'll let them know.
we are gathered here today in the presence of God to unite Danny and Sarah in marriage. The Bible teaches that marriage is to be a permanent relationship of one man and one woman, freely and totally committed to each other as companions for life. Our Lord declared that man shall leave his father and mother and unite with his wife in the building of a home, and the two shall become one flesh. Who gives the bride to be married? You may be seated. Let us pray. Our most gracious Heavenly Father God, Lord, we thank you so much for this beautiful day that we can come and celebrate these two special people. God, we love them so much and we know that you love them too. And God, we pray right now that as we perform this holy ceremony, God, Lord, that you will bless this union, you will bless their families, and you will find favor upon them as they begin this new chapter of their life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I've had the pleasure of knowing these two for quite some time. It's been a joy to see them growing closer to the Lord over these past couple of years. And I just want to say, I know that they would want me to say this. They would want you to know that Jesus is the center of their relationship with each other. And they would like for you to have that relationship with Jesus as well. If you do not know Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, I promise you, they will take the time out of their busy celebration that lets you know, or you can come see me. We would love to tell you about how to accept that free gift of salvation. With that being said, I would like to say, Danny, when you first came into the, the college group and you walked in and I thought, who's this Clark Kent looking guy coming in here? <laughs> and I think I started calling you Superman not long after that. And, uh, and then we just kind of met and hung out together. Uh, we had our mentoring meetings at coffee break. Uh, you were very active and involved on Wednesday nights and Sunday mornings. And you joined the church and it just was great seeing you grow closer to God. And then Sarah, in the youth group, you were just so quiet. Just, I mean, just never had any trouble out of you. Just the perfect youth example. Yes, exactly. Until you met Emily. And then, in the college group, you came out of your shell. You were a little more talkative. A little more rambunctious, active, which was good. It was a good thing. You love seeing you come out of that shell and become the woman that you are today. And I knew Danny was in trouble. When he came in and she started asking questions, who's the new guy? What's the new guy doing? What's he like? And all this, stuff. I was like, oh no, Danny. And then Danny came to me and he kind of was like, Sarah texted me and told me she likes me. What do I do? And I said, Danny, go on one date with her. If you don't like her, you don't have to go out again. And we see what happened. <laughs> And I will have to say this, just, just so everybody else knows, you can, everybody can say thank you to me, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. But in all seriousness, I want us to think about the beauty of this day. I'm so excited that you guys are starting this new chapter of your life together. And you're gonna be married and it's gonna be a beautiful time and I hope you guys will enjoy every single moment of it. The home is built upon love, which is best portrayed in the 13th chapter of Paul's letter to Corinth. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not, it is not, I'm sorry, it is not, does not rejoice in wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. So faith, hope, and love remain. But the greatest of these is love. Marriage is a companionship which involves mutual commitment and responsibility. You will share in these responsibilities and the joy of life. When companions share a joy, the joy is doubled. When they share a sorrow, the sorrow is halved. You're exhorted to dedicate your home to your creator. Take his word, the Bible, for your guide. Give loyal devotion to his church, thus uniting the mutual strength of these two most important institutions. 
living your lives as his willing servants, and true happiness will be your temporal and eternal reward. If you will now face each other and take each other's hands. Danny, will you take Sarah to be your wife? Will you commit yourself to her happiness and her self-fulfillment as a person and to her usefulness in God's kingdom? And will you promise to love, honor, trust, and serve her in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to her so long as you both shall live? Sarah, will you take Danny to be your husband? Will you commit yourself to his happiness and his self-fulfillment as a person and to his usefulness in God's kingdom? And will you promise to love, honor, trust, and serve him in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to him so long as you both shall live? We have the rings. The wedding ring is a symbol of marriage in at least two ways. The purity of the gold symbolizes your love for each other, and the unending circle symbolizes the unending vows which you are taking. As a token of your vows, you will give and receive the rings. Yeah, take the right one, Danny. <laughs> Danny, you will give the ring and repeat after me. Go ahead, get the ring. Sarah, with this ring, I pledge my life and love to you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Sarah, you will give the ring and repeat after me. Danny, with this ring, I pledge my life and love to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. At this time, Danny and Sarah will participate in a unity sand ceremony, symbolizing the two becoming one. Danny and Sarah, since you have made these commitments before God and these witnesses, by the authority of God and the laws of this state, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Danny and Sarah, you are no longer two independent persons, but one. What therefore God has joined together, let no man separate. Danny, you may kiss your bride. Dear Heavenly Father God, 
Lord, we celebrate you today as we celebrate these two. Thank you for bringing them together. Thank you for how you're going to use their life, their lives together to impact this world for your glory. God, we pray right now that you will continue to bless them, that you will continue to guide them and direct them. God, we pray for your favor, your hand to be upon this marriage relationship. We thank you for the families and the friends who have invested so much into these two to help them become the individuals that they are today. And we celebrate the, the, the couple that they are today as they have joined together in holy matrimony. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Family and friends, I now present to you Mr. and Ms. Danny McCurdy.